In the circus of our souls we tread. Step into a world of shadows and secrets with this captivating short story, The Circus of Lost Souls. Join investigative journalist Sarah as she unravels the enigma behind a mysterious traveling circus that promises wonder, but conceals a malevolent curse. As Sarah delves into the circus's dark history, she uncovers chilling secrets that link sinister clowns to a series of inexplicable disappearances spanning generations. The Circus of Lost Souls Act 1 The Enigmatic Arrival In the heart of a forgotten valley nestled between towering mountains, there lay a quaint and picturesque town known as Willowbrook. With its cobblestone streets, charming cottages, and a peaceful aura, Willowbrook seemed like any other idyllic small town. However, it bore a haunting secret, whispered only among the most cautious of residents. On a cold autumn morning, a thick blanket of fog rolled into the valley, shrouding the town in an eerie haze. It was on this eerie morning that the townspeople awoke to an astonishing sight. Rising like an enigmatic apparition from the mist, a colossal circus tent emerged on the outskirts of Willowbrook. The circus's arrival was swift and silent, and no one could recall seeing any caravans or circus performers making their way into town. The circus tent was unlike any other, standing tall and imposing, its striped canvas black and crimson, reflecting an aura of darkness that seemed to defy the sun's feeble attempts to penetrate the fog. There were no banners or signs announcing its name or the acts it held within, adding to the mystery that surrounded it. As rumors spread like wildfire through Willowbrook, excitement and fear became intertwined. Some believed that the circus was a grand spectacle, promising mesmerizing performances and enchanting attractions, while others suspected something sinister lurking beneath the surface. They whispered cautionary tales passed down from generations past, stories of eerie laughter, missing children, and of malevolent clowns lurking in the shadows. Among the townspeople, there were those who couldn't resist the allure of the unknown. Curiosity beckoned them towards the tent, drawn by a strange fascination they couldn't explain. Yet, with each passing day, the circus loomed larger in their minds, instilling a sense of dread that grew in tandem with their excitement. It wasn't long before Willowbrook became divided, torn between those eagerly awaiting the circus's opening and those urging caution. The once close-knit community was now entangled in fear and uncertainty, and the weight of the circus's presence hung heavy in the air. As night fell upon Willowbrook, the crimson glow emanating from the circus tent pierced through the fog, casting eerie shadows across the town. The soft strains of haunting music drifted through the valley, tantalizing and haunting, pulling at the souls of the townspeople. It was within this enigmatic atmosphere that Sarah, a young investigative journalist from a nearby city, arrived in Willowbrook, drawn by rumors of the mysterious circus. Determined and curious, she hoped to uncover the truth behind the circus's secretive nature and the unsettling tales that haunted the town. As Sarah set foot in Willowbrook, she could feel the town's palpable unease, and she sensed that the circus held more than meets the eye. Armed with her notepad and camera, Sarah vowed to unravel the circus's mysteries, unaware of the chilling journey that awaited her, a journey that would lead her deep into the shadows of the circus of lost souls. Act 2 Unveiling the shadows As Sarah delved deeper into her investigation, she immersed herself in the rich history of Willowbrook. The townspeople, hesitant at first, gradually opened up to her, sharing chilling stories of the circus's previous visitation decades ago. They spoke of a time when the circus tent appeared much like it did now, beckoning residents with promises of wonder and enchantment. But as the performances continued, attendees began to vanish mysteriously, leaving behind only their names in the town's archives. In the dimly lit library, Sarah sifted through dusty records and fragile pages, unearthing forgotten newspaper clippings and eyewitness accounts. She discovered that the previous circus's disappearance had coincided with a series of mysterious abductions in Willowbrook, creating a trail of unsolved missing persons cases that spanned decades. As she read on, Sarah stumbled upon an old, weathered journal hidden among the library's forgotten shelves. 
the journal belonged to a former circus performer named Thomas Hargrove, who had witnessed the horrors that unfolded during the last circus's fateful visit. In the journal's faded ink, Thomas recounted the circus's area lore, its charismatic ringmaster, and the captivating performances that seemed to ensnare attendees like unsuspecting prey. But beneath the surface charm lay a malevolent presence, the enigmatic Harlequin. Thomas described the Harlequin as a figure cloaked in darkness, his painted smile hiding unspeakable malice. It was he who orchestrated the disappearances, orchestrating sinister rituals that bound the lost souls to the circus tent for all eternity. With newfound determination, Sarah continued her quest, seeking out elderly residents who remembered the circus from their youth. They spoke of a charismatic ringmaster known as Mr. Mortimer, who seemed to transcend time, the only constant link between the past and present circuses. Each circus seemed to serve as a vessel for the Harlequin, feeding his insatiable hunger for souls and perpetuating the dark curse. Yet, as Sarah's investigation intensified, so did the eerie occurrences around her. The town seemed to come alive with hidden dangers, and strange encounters with the circus's clowns haunted her every step. As she wandered Willowbrook's shadowy streets, she felt a chilling presence watching her, and the distant echoes of malevolent laughter seemed to follow her, even into the silence of her rented room. Despite the growing fear that gripped her, Sarah pressed on, driven by a sense of duty to uncover the truth. She found solace in the unlikely companionship of a former circus performer named Jack, who had escaped the clutches of the Harlequin during the previous circus's reign. Jack's harrowing tales served as both a warning and a guide, offering insight into the darkness that awaited those who dared to delve deeper into the circus's secrets. As the days passed, Sarah's investigation drew her closer to the heart of the circus's malevolence. She realized that the circus fed on the emotions and souls of its visitors, using the promise of wonder and excitement to ensnare them, trapping their essence within the tent forever. The circus became a prison, and those who entered were lost, joining the lost souls that had come before them. With each revelation, Sarah's own vulnerability grew, as if the circus sought to ensnare her in its clutches as well. Yet, her determination burned brighter, knowing that she held the key to exposing the sinister truth and breaking the curse that bound the lost souls to the haunting circus tent. As the investigation reached its peak, and the circus prepared to leave Willowbrook once more, Sarah knew that she had to confront the Harlequin and stop the malevolent entity from claiming more innocent souls. Armed with the knowledge from Thomas's journal and Jack's guidance, she gathered her allies for a final showdown with the darkness that loomed within. The Circus of Lost Souls Act 3 Confronting the Harlequin as the final day of the circus's stay in Willowbrook approached, the tension in the town reached its peak. The crimson glow of the circus tent loomed large, casting an ominous shadow over the once charming town. Sarah knew that the time had come to face the malevolent Harlequin, the puppet master behind the circus's dark secrets. Gathering her small band of allies, including Jack and a few courageous townspeople who had come to trust her, Sarah devised a plan to confront the Harlequin during the circus's final performance. The group knew that they would have to navigate through the deceptive illusions and macabre attractions to reach the heart of the tent, where the Harlequin held his sinister sway. As the night descended, enveloping Willowbrook in darkness, Sarah and her allies slipped into the circus grounds under the cover of shadows. The eerie music that once beckoned them now filled them with trepidation. The air was thick with anticipation and fear as they approached the main circus tent. Stepping inside, they were greeted by a surreal world of flickering lights, eerie laughter, and ethereal apparitions. The circus's performers moved with unsettling grace, their painted faces an unsettling mix of smiles and sneers. The group pressed on, resisting the allure of the attractions that threatened to ensnare them. As they ventured deeper into the labyrinthine passages of the tent, the sinister presence of the Harlequin grew palpable. They encountered his malevolent clowns, each designed to prey on their deepest fears and insecurities. Sarah's allies faced their darkest memories, battling their own demons as they pressed forward. The group's resolve was tested as they struggled to distinguish reality from illusion, and Sarah's journalistic instincts were put to the ultimate test as she uncovered the truth behind the Harlequin's dark rituals and malevolent motives. 
In the center of the tent, they finally stood face to face with the Harlequin himself, a figure draped in tattered robes, his eyes hidden beneath a brimmed hat, and his face adorned with a grotesque painted smile. His malevolence was tangible, his power emanating from every inch of his being. The Harlequin taunted them, toying with their fears, and tried to trap their souls within the confines of the tent. But Sarah and her allies stood strong, united in their determination to break the curse that bound the lost souls to the circus. In a climactic battle of wills and courage, Sarah confronted the Harlequin head-on, revealing the knowledge she had gathered from Thomas's journal. She unveiled the ancient contract that had bound the circus to this dark realm and exposed the Harlequin's insatiable hunger for souls. She challenged the malevolent entity, questioning his twisted sense of power and dominance. As the circus tent trembled with the intensity of their confrontation, Sarah offered a glimmer of unexpected kindness, acknowledging the Harlequin's own tragic past, the origin of his bitterness. In a moment of vulnerability, the Harlequin's facade cracked, revealing a soul tormented by a millennia of sorrow and pain. With this revelation, Sarah understood that the curse was born out of the Harlequin's own suffering and loneliness, fueling a cycle of malevolence that trapped both him and the lost souls within the tent. Seizing this revelation, Sarah and her allies united their compassion and willpower, reaching out to the Harlequin with understanding rather than condemnation. In an unexpected twist, the Harlequin's curse began to weaken as his rage and hunger subsided. Together, they managed to sever the sinister contract that bound the lost souls to the circus, releasing them from their eternal torment. As the curse unraveled, the circus tent began to collapse, its dark magic dissipating into the night. In the chaos that ensued, the Harlequin himself dissolved into the ether, his malevolence fading into nothingness. The once terrifying circus transformed into a mere memory, leaving only echoes of its haunting presence. As the sun rose on a new day, Willowbrook was free from the darkness that had plagued it for generations. The townspeople, now aware of the circus's true nature, began to heal from the darkness that once enveloped them. In the aftermath of the harrowing ordeal, Sarah's bravery and determination made headlines, inspiring others to confront the shadows that hid in plain sight. She returned to her journalistic pursuits, dedicating herself to shedding light on hidden darkness and protecting others from malevolent forces. The town of Willowbrook slowly recovered, forever changed by the experience, and the enigmatic circus became a tale told by elders, a cautionary story to remind future generations that even the most alluring wonders may harbor the darkest secrets. Act 4 Breaking the Curse With the circus tent collapsing around them, Sarah and her allies rushed to escape the crumbling structure. As they emerged into the cold dawn, they witnessed the last vestiges of the malevolent circus vanish into thin air, leaving behind a lingering sense of sorrow and relief. The townspeople of Willowbrook, once ensnared by the circus's deceptive charm, began to awaken from their trance-like fascination. With each passing moment, their memories of the circus's eerie allure faded, replaced by a profound gratitude for Sarah and her allies' bravery. As the news of the circus's true nature spread throughout the town, the once divided community united in their shared ordeal, vowing to never forget the dangers that lurked beneath the surface of the seemingly enchanting circus. The Circus of Lost Souls became a cautionary tale, a reminder that darkness could manifest in even the most captivating disguises. In the weeks that followed, Sarah continued her investigation, publishing her findings in a series of articles that exposed the sinister secrets of the circus. Her words reached far beyond Willowbrook, capturing the attention of readers worldwide. Her bravery and dedication to the truth earned her widespread recognition and admiration, but Sarah remained humble, knowing that she had not acted alone. With the circus's malevolence vanquished, the town of Willowbrook began the healing process. Sarah's unlikely friendship with Jack, the former circus performer, endured, and he found a newfound purpose in helping the town recover from the circus's dark influence. Together, they established support groups for those affected by the circus's curse, offering a safe space for sharing their experiences and finding solace in one another. As the years passed, Willowbrook thrived, its sense of community strengthened by the shared trauma they had endured. The circus's haunting memory became a part of the town's folklore, a story passed down from generation to generation, 
reminding them of the darkness that could lurk beneath the surface of the world's most tantalizing wonders. Sarah's journalistic career skyrocketed as she continued to expose hidden truths and investigate mysterious occurrences across the world. Please tell me what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.